Okay, so this thing is going to be visited here shortly. We're going to leave it here for right now. So I my weights out. I haven't put anything away yet this morning. Check it down, across, twist into it. Focus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, come on, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Other arm. Down, just into it, pull that shoulder down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Up and over. We're going to be doing more just as an L of it, but just starting off sitting here, really focusing on the arm for a second here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because I was talking at the same time. I'm talking now. We're going to say that's good for that arm. We're going over to this one. Again, we're going to get some other moves into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it for a few more seconds. Ah, release it. Put your hands behind you. Pull your chest up. Ah, pull that. That feels good. Come on over. Hands down. Step it back. Push it back to downward dog first. Back those legs and shoulders. Come on up, drop the elbows down. We're gonna push it back again, this time into dolphin. Come on in, drop the knees, come back up on those hands, elongate that body, pull it back and down with the upper body part into puppy. Come back up, tabletop it. New cat, push into it, look at that shoulders and that back. Come on down, front shoulders and chest. Back. And hold down. Legs all the way back. Lower your body to the mat. Scarecrow that arm. And roll into it. Hold upper body, arm back, and really get the chest open too. Hold it. Back, arm down, other side, and roll into it. Hold it, arm back. Come on. This one's just so good on the shoulders. All right, come on back. Get our hands behind you. Top of a plank, downward dog. Step a leg through. Come on in. All right, so first we're gonna drop the knee, release the foot, pull forward really good. With all the squats we've been doing too, we've got to remember to take care of our legs. And I'm gonna try, these are gonna come into play here in a second. I remember which hands go to which one. That one goes that way. This one's gonna go over here though. Get too big for my hands, but we're gonna use that here in a second. Pull it really good first one, really good. Straighten front leg, come over it. Push down into that, come on. All right, 
switching legs. The ones up. We'll end it first. Yes, yeah, so those are going to be used for practicing the um, split move. I'm going to try see if I can do a little bit of that each day this week. Or I'm stretching those legs up more that way too. Grab that foot if you can, pull it in, intensify it. If you get a cramp like I just did, come out of it. Back down. Back into it. My legs are sore. Hold into that one. Come on. We can do this. Down. Front leg straightens. Come over. Up and over. Pull leg forward. Come backwards. Come down as long as you can. Hold it there. Ah, switch legs. Forward. the foam roller. It's there. It's going to be used. So first thing first though, I'm going to come to the upper back, upper back shoulder area. Just kind of rock it there. Rocking the shoulders. So up almost, it's, like it's, it's coming to the back of your neck, but you're staying on your arms. Roll it down. Right back. Down. Up. Down. I'm going to reposition it down just a little bit lower. Okay, right there. Down. Ah, there we go. I'll angle it to one side. More on one side than the other. Come on down that. Work that whole area with the shoulders. <sighs> we'll work a lot more of that today. But this is just the focus. Straight back. You find a place that hurts really good a lot when you're doing it. You need to actually visit that part a little bit more. Other side. Rock at the top. All right, down. Now, the outside of the shoulder. This is where it's like, I don't like this one. But we're going to do it anyways. Up. Rock 
pocket. Small movements. Come on down the arm a little bit more. Oh, I have that arm right there. Ooh. I know it's shoulders, but yes, of course, you work the biceps too. Rock it. Breathe into it, right? All right, come forward now with that same arm. Rock that shoulder. Owie, 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 owie. Roll it up, roll it down. It hurts, but we do it anyways. All right, other side. First down, front of it. Actually, we did more of a side of it, didn't we? Side. Rocket side first. No way. Rocket on that shoulder. Down, up, down, up. Roll it over. Shoulders on there. We could do this. We got this. Ready? And I'm going to figure out which way it is. There we go. It hurts. Do it anyways, but it hurts. Rock it. Oh. Oh. Ow. Okay. All right. So we need to definitely visit that some more. Pull it over to the side again. Twist into it. If you feel a little bit looser than you did the first time through, right? Other side. I need, a, I need a twist. So we're going to finish it off with a twist. Arms out. Outside of this. Twist of the... Other side. And twist into it. That foam roller, I'm telling y'all, go hustle once with it. Straight back with those arms again. Pull that chest up. Oh. And back center. So, I probably need more stretching than that, but that was a little, at least it was better than last week. We get in there and stretched it out. I feel better. Now that I'm not using the foam roller, I feel better. <laughs> But this morning is fun. Started off with the interval cardio and weights for shoulders mixed together. Did our twisting pull-ups, core challenge, up the, added another move and up the time a little bit this week. And squat challenge for sumo squats and then our stretch. Definitely can say it is checked off and 